How you doing everybody? John Cruz here from the Fender Custom Shop in Corona, California. Uh, today I just want to go over a couple things with you on uh, how I would, uh, this is how I take care of my guitars usually, um, before I restring, which is quite a bit because I change my strings a lot. Um, after a while these, these vintage bridges have a tendency to wear, corrode a little bit, and I just want to show a couple little tips on how I like to take care of those things and to properly lube them and to help get the best uh, stability out of your out of your tremolo usage and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get into it I'd like you to kind of get a, a zoom of the uh, the area that I'm talking about right here uh, you can see these these grooves right here in the uh, in the saddles are, have been kind of worn for a while now I've been using it for quite a bit as a shop guitar here and what I'm going to do I already did this first saddle right here you can see how I've kind of grinded it down just a little bit and polished it back up to bring that kind of shine back to it and uh, I'm going to show that to you how I do that real quick and it's basically, you know, standard tools that we use uh, around here. But I use like a really fine uh, rubber uh, type of wheel to just kind of clean off that area that we were talking about right here. And uh, it just kind of cleans up the burrs and stuff from the strings that gather for a while on there. And I'll, I'll normally do that to all the saddles. And usually when I'm done with that, I'll come back with a little buffing wheel just to kind of buff some of the shine back into it. It's like, it'll be like a brand new saddle again when it's all done. A lot of people don't go to the great extents of, of this kind of stuff, but this is just like a normal thing that I like to do to my guitars. And I've turned it on to a lot of artists and stuff like that. And now they do it on a regular rotation on their guitars. Um, and the next thing I like to do, um, you can either use like graphite. Um, a lot of people have used like pencil lead on a piece of sandpaper and mixed it in with a little bit of Vaseline and stuff. That's kind of like the way that it helps make it stick to the area that you want it to, to go on to. But I use this stuff that uh, Rene Martinez has uh, developed from uh, you know, Stevie Ray Vaughan's old tech. And I'll put a little drop of this stuff just on the, on the saddle right there, just a little bit. And I'll go back and clean it up after I put the strings on. But this kind of lubes the area where the where the string goes over and it and it really does help uh, as far as for, for the tremolo like some people might just say you know you don't really need to go that extent but I do it and I've really had good success with uh, tremolo usage and, and of course it all matters on how you stretch your strings and stuff as well uh, it has a big part to do with it really um, so that's ready right there I'll let that sit a little bit but now I want to focus on the nut a little bit uh, usually when I change strings, I'll usually check out the nut to make sure that the, everything's looking good. There's no cracks or anything on there. But I usually like to take a, you can see some of the gunk that gets built up in there from, from dirt and uh, stuff like that. I usually like to try to take that stuff out of there. One of the good ways to do it is usually just a good old piece of 3M 4, 400 uh, sandpaper. And I'll usually run it through the grooves and just, uh, you know, just remove some of the dirt that I can get out of there without actually changing the shape of the nut, you know. And this is, you know, it's got a quite a buildup of grease and dirt and alcohol or whatever, what have you in there. <laughs> but it, it gives you a good clean surface now. And I use the same stuff um, that I have built up right here. And I'll usually put a little bit inside each one of the nut slots here. Just a little bit is all you need. And I've been doing this to my guitar for about 20 years or so. And it really is, for me, especially using the tremolo, I'm very confident now in the usage and it just makes it feel so much better. The strings actually roll like ball, ball bearings over the top of the, the string slots now, you know, as opposed to going to like a Floyd Rose or a roller nut or something like that. So just a little dab is all you need on there, across there, and now you're ready for that. So those are two key spots that I like to, to focus on, on putting that material on. The other spot also is on a uh, the string tree, which is a, you know this is a '60s guitar, so it has that wing style string tree. And since this is a relic guitar, and, and the parts have been aged nicely, you know, in the day here, um, a lot of rust and stuff builds up inside the inside the area right here. 
you can see where that has built up. And I like to go through and clean that up a little bit with a file, and, which I did, and, and I'll show that to you. But I usually take like a little rat tail file right here, and then you can see how I've gone through and just kind of very lightly just filed away some of the rust there. And you can see how it looks kind of new again. You can go back over it with like some 400 sandpaper and sand out the inside. Uh, I pretty much do that to all my guitars that go out of here because I do a lot of relic uh, style guitars. But uh, I'll do both sides of the nut and, uh, and then put some of that lube, string lube stuff on there as well. And uh, that really helps the strings guide, uh, glide through the, uh, the string tree and, and to the tuners itself. So it really does help. I mean, uh, you really need just a little dab of that in there. And I, I do this every time I change strings, I'll go through and just kind of add more of the, uh, the stuff to it there. All you need is just a little bit on there. It's, it's, so, it's so, the, the amount that you need is just so little and it, it does a lot. Just a little bit, a little dab will do you pretty much. Okay, so and a good thing to remember also is usually when I, I put strings on, I usually like to have at least two to three wraps around the pole and by the time it's done, uh, you know, and it, stretching your strings out is a real important thing as well. But uh, when I'm done doing this, I usually have two to three wraps or three to four wraps. I'm stringing this guitar with the 11 through 49 set, which I, I like. It just kind of varies from uh, person to person what, what they want uh, string wise, but uh, I highly recommend this type of maintenance or guitar if, if you're really using the tremolo a lot. This is kind of stuff that you could buy at a music store or one of the catalogs that we use here, Steve Stewart McDonald. They sell a lot of this type of material, uh, even down to the files and stuff like that. You can get them at your local hardware store. But I suggest for luthier type of tools as you go through like a Stumac, uh, we'll carry that, uh, those type of tools. You can already feel just the friction of the string just rolling over the edge of that. It gets a little ugly looking, but you can get like a little towel or something to just wipe it off. I mean, I usually just leave mine on because I like to have the extra the grease on there. Hey, look at that. But with, with the saddles nice and cleaned up like that, it's like a brand new saddle again. Uh, there's no friction build up anymore. Eventually it'll probably happen again. You just go through and do the same thing again. But uh, that's a good thing to do is for the lubing of that inside the nut area right there, like I said, and underneath the uh, string tree as well. And uh, you should have really no, no catch up on the, uh, on the saddles or the nut or the string tree at all after that. That's it.